Well, hello, I hope you are doing well today. If you know it, say it with me. I got my coffee. I got my Bible. Of course, I have you. Welcome to National Chocolate Almond Day. Oh, that is, by the way, my favorite candy. Okay, if you were thinking of Christmas gift ideas <laughs> early, oh my goodness. Walmart has, well, a lot of places have these chocolate oven roasted almonds i just the lord is good you know what i mean it's so good i i, I can't eat them all the time because they mess me up they're they're that I, I just keep going anyway happy chocolate almond day you enjoy yourself some chocolate almonds don't let nobody tell you different okay welcome to chapter number five yeah chapter number five of the book of acts and if you are just now joining us we are walking through the book of acts one chapter at a time and we're pulling out a verse that speaks to us and so what i do is i read these chapters and i just go holy spirit what would you like to say to me in this and this is how i read my bible i read my devotion for the day and i ask the holy spirit draw something out that i can meditate on i can think on and this was an interesting one and i, I just Ha, this is this is what this meant to me. I want to tell you this story, and then I, I hope that maybe God will speak to you as well. It's something I want to hear about in the comments below. When there was a time, I had a friend of mine who gave his life to Christ. Uh, he said he had, and when he gave his life to Christ, he had a lot of issues. He had a lot of things going on in his life, and he um, he, he he was still struggling with a lot of these different things after he uh, gave his life to, to Jesus. And I remember feeling very judgmental. I'm ashamed to say that, but I was like, I don't know. I don't know if this is working. And I remember feeling convicted by the Holy Spirit. Just going, hey, you leave him alone. Let, let, let he and I work out his salvation. You just love him. You know, and I remember just like, oh, Lord, I felt horrible. And so I just tried to support him and all this. And then we lost touch. And a few years later, I uh, find this guy on social media. and He's a missionary. He's doing amazing things. He's he is he is amazing. He's written some books about his faith. I mean, just he's doing so well. And I start going, wow, this is the guy that I didn't think he was doing real well, <laughs> you know. And only to find out, I found out later that when he first got saved, there was a whole lot of stuff on the inside. God was working out in his heart and in his life. And so God was like, look, I'll take care of this stuff eventually. Right now I'm taking care of some other stuff. And so what I needed to do was back off, let God do what he needed to do, and let God work it out. Like, don't judge this guy, love this guy, and let God work out his issues, right? Well, that made me think about what we're reading today because in chapter 5, there's a lot going on. I'd love to know in the comments below what you think. First of all, there's the Ananias and Sapphira part where they uh, drop dead for lying. Um, there's where the whole uh, the apostles, God used them to heal a lot of people. They meet some opposition. And then there's this part when the, the Jewish authorities are trying to figure out what they're going to do with these people. Do we kill them? <laughs> do we run them out of town? All this kind of stuff. And watch what happens in, let's see, it's Acts chapter 5, verse 38 and 39. It says this, uh, this guy named Gamaliel which also happened to be the mentor of who eventually becomes the Apostle Paul. So he says this. He says, so my advice is leave these men alone. Let them go. If they are planning to do these things merely on their own, they'll soon be overthrown. But if it's from God, you will not be able to overthrow them. You may even find yourself fighting against God. So in other words, he's saying, let God sort it out. Which makes me think of this movie I watched one time, and it was a football movie. In the football movie, uh, the defensive captain, you know, he's the guy on the field who's kind of running the plays for the defense. He says this phrase, and he doesn't mean it literally. He's just saying, he said, on this play, you kill everybody and let the paramedics sort them out. And so, and so what he's saying is, is you just hit everybody and just let the play happen, but your job is to hit people. And you do your job, and then everything else will take care of itself. Well, I thought about that when I was reading this. I was thinking about my friend. So many times we look at somebody's life and we go ahead and cast judgment. That they're done. This is who they're going to be. This is what, 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 what. We have no idea. And so our job is to love people and to trust God. It's God's job to clean them up and to figure them out. And that gives me a lot of hope. And it also gives me a great challenge. 
The challenge is, is to not be quick to judge, be quick to love. My hope is, is that if I will love people and if I will pray with people, the Holy Spirit knows what they need more than I do. So he will convict them. And ultimately, it's their job to listen to him. And also that means that if there's some things going on in my life, I can trust the Holy Spirit. That if I'm trying to get closer to him every single day and I'm trying to move closer to him every single day, then when the time is right, he will convict me about the things that need to be out of my life so that I can have a greater level of freedom every day. That's what really spoke to me in this chapter. I don't know what's going to happen to you. I want to know in the comments below what's going to speak to you. I'll tell you what I do know. God loves you more than you realize. He's for you more than you realize. I'll tell you what else. You're probably doing better than you realize. You know why? Because you got up one more day. You know what else I know? God has not changed his mind about you. I love you so much. I'm loving the book of Acts. I can't wait to see you here tomorrow on Daily Hope.